and it is just gone 6.30 and it looks like it's going to be quite an incredible sunrise. Not sure if you can see that band of pink through the trees there, but it's looking really, really lovely. Good morning, everyone. Oh my goodness, we are up and ready and it's not even like 7.30. There is the most beautiful, frosty, misty sunrise. Ali is out droning that at the moment because we are shooting our Christmas intro today. And this is something that we've been like coming up with and concepting for a while. And so today is finally the shoot day. So you will have already seen this on the other days of Vlogmas, but today is the day that we are shooting it. And we've picked the most perfect, perfect day. It's just something that I think sets the tone for the vlogs. It's always very cozy and lovely and just a little bit nostalgic. So I am wearing a little bobble hat that I took to Courchevel before the end, well, before lockdown started. This H&M jumper, I've got my Karen Millen and Lydia Millen jodhpurs on. I'm gonna pop on some Dewberries, Dewberries, and my shuffle coat over the top as well and head out for the shoot. Bonsoir, mon ami. Happy day, oh. Happy day, oh, go back to bed, go back to bed, mommy. Um, I've just got out my Dewberry boots and my shuffle coat. I personally, I think that my shuffle coat is probably a little bit too casual for the shoot today. I'm so annoyed. I ordered a coat from Holland Cooper, like, almost a month ago and when I ordered it it said nothing about the fact that it needed to be like made especially for me obviously I'm very grateful to have it made especially for me but I really like the reason I was buying it was for this shoot I mean obviously to use as well I bought it for like smarter dog walk attire and colder evenings and they said it would be done in 14 to 20 days and it's now been like well working days and it's now been like 25 working days and I still don't have the coat and I wanted it to be here for today's shoot and it's not here it's just a really lovely sort of rich chestnut field jacket and it was just really really lovely and i'm upset that it's not here because i've got to wear a really casual jacket now but oh well i still look nice and cozy and the sun is almost fully up and it's a beautiful morning i'm sorry what are you doing under there you having a little bit of a party Hmm? Ah, you're snooting your blankets. A little piglet. Does anyone else's Daxon do that? Porter makes the most hilarious noises. He's like, <laughs> you love your big bed. <laughs> He's always so silly in the morning. Yes! <laughs> Happy tail, happy tail, and I am pleased to announce that now Porty is fully toilet trained in our house anyway. When he goes to Auntie Carrie's house, not so much, but it's because he's marking and things like that. The only thing that we have is that when another dog is here and they're not neutered as well, we do get some marking, sometimes some pooping. Did I ever tell you? about the time it's funny we were talking about it the other day when we were at Dalesford I went to Flair's house and I took Porter and wow oh my goodness we are getting the most spectacular morning ever <gasps> Ali's out there doing his thing I feel like Ali lives all year for like this kind of content his creativity comes alive I can't believe how much we've lucked out with this Porty haven't we? Anyway, as I was telling you, I went to Fleur's house in the summer and um, Fleur has quite possibly one of the most beautiful homes I've ever been to in my entire life. Like genuinely, I, I just, I, <laughs> I think I just walked around like the entire time being like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. <laughs> and Porter trots in and he's like, all right Fleur, all right Mike, trots into Fleur's brand spanking new gorgeous kitchen and <laughs> on the floor. Like literally just curls one out on the floor. And I don't think I've ever been more embarrassed in all my life. Like I've not even got like the niceties out of the way and my dog is taking a poo on her floor. <laughs> but he has actually done that in everybody's house we've ever taken to. Like all of your favorite YouTubers. Oh, I think I have told you this before because I've told you that if you've, if you've got a favorite YouTuber in the close vicinity to where I live, my dog has shit in their house. <laughs> and that is his claim to pain. <laughs> anyway, oh my goodness, I am actually sort of speechless at how beautiful 
the sun rises. And this is what I love about this time of year. I think that if there's one thing about where we live that I'm so grateful for, obviously I know that I love like the changing seasons, but this house becomes a different house every season. And in the summer, we cannot see through that, that woodland. The foliage is just so dense, but come winter time, we get the most incredible, almost like 360 views around the house. And it's a gift that like you get every year that you forget that you're gonna get. Can you see the sun on my face? I feel like I'm that um, meme, that Roald Dahl meme. meme. It's like if you have good thoughts, they will shine out of your face like sunbeams. Ah! <laughs> But anyway, I need to stop rambling on. I'm waiting for Ali to come and tell me that he's ready to shoot because we are starting off the scenes with the Defender. A nice scenic drive down the lane. Just some really beautiful shots. I want you guys to feel like you are here with me every single time that the Vlogmas starts. The drone is coming into land, so it's probably gonna need me. But yeah, it's gonna be like a scenic drive into Oh my god, Ali's just given me the A-OK. -okay. He thinks he's got the shots. Amazing. Good stuff. So I want you to feel like you are like here in our little um, oasis that we have here with us. So I want you to experience like what it is like around this area and feel like you're at my house having vloggers with me. Oh my goodness, the Defender looks matte because it's got frost on it. Oh my gosh, look at that. So we've got the Christmas tree up on top, all decorated, ready to go. And look at that sunlight behind it. <gasps> Let's hop in. In we jump. Well, I'm just waiting for Ali to jump in. Oh dear. Look, you can see my breath. It is very, very cold today. Very, very cold. I've got poo bags in my pocket, just in case. <laughs> well, he's not coming with us for this part of the shoot, but he will be shooting ready by the fire for us. So what you're gonna do is, you are going to drive to uh, where that little cut-in is. A little cut, yeah. Yeah, yeah where yeah. Porty goes for a little run every time. Yeah, 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 good idea. I was literally thinking the same thing. Yeah, and then I'm gonna get the drone up low level and you're going to drive and I'm going to drone you along the Christmas tree hedge line so from the side profile view. Oh brilliant, yeah yeah. Okay, alright. It's going to be a good morning of filming, I've got a good feeling about it. I was a bit worried about the weather at first and then um, all of a sudden it's got a little bit misty and the sun's rised really well so the sun has risen really well. Oh wow, so look at the, the fog across good. the field. Yeah, it's a perfect morning for it. Yeah. Wow. Look at the sheepies are there. Oh, that's not good. Why? I can't drone over sheep. You can see Mr. Mill and Gordon running across the field. I am sat in the car. Look at those colours. Oh, this is what I want you to experience this Christmas. No matter where you are in the world, I think a really good, beautiful British winter is in order. Mr. Mill and Gordon has had a change of outfit and we've just had some shots done out here a little bit more filming and the car is looking so so beautiful we've got our wreath from the country flower company that you can order through hello petal on the front we've got another one on our door as well but i just think it looks so snazzy and look at that lens flare bonnie you go to the one who has the food don't you both you do <laughs> ciao bonnie moo ciao bordellini I promise this is not going to be the only dress that I wear for Vlogmas, but I am shooting in this for the intro and it's absolutely beautiful. I've also popped, I'm not sure if you can see, a little pink bow, a little pink bow. This is a Jennifer Behir bow, I think, that Elizabeth Arden gave me and I thought the pink looked really nice with the green. I love pink and green, it's probably my favourite little combination. So I've got those on, we're gonna go downstairs and shoot. And I'm obviously wearing an Erin perfume today as well. The whole family is in the room and we're ready to shoot the last few scenes of the intro. It looks so lovely and festive. Welcome in to the room where Christmas threw up. I am going to have a big old sort out of everything in here, have a reorganize and get everything 
put back away anything that we don't need, anything that we can donate and just have a good old sort out. I'm hiding down in the guest bedroom because Ali is filming a campaign and it is that time of year where, I'm gonna turn the lights on. Ooh. It is that time of year where our house just some days gets completely overran with people. There are many, many cars on the drive today and the only place that I'm getting any kind of like privacy is down here in the guest bedroom. And I thought what better day to get everything organized now that everything's pretty much sorted. I've managed to sort out the decorations for the tree downstairs so that Carrie and I can decorate that. And it means that everything else can just be organized. And I've come down here and I forgot the other night that I did this. Please ignore all the rubbish everywhere, but this is my patchwork quilt from my grandma. It is the most beautiful patchwork quilt I have ever seen in my life. And this is basically the entire inspiration around this room. It's basically gonna tie all of the sort of green tones of this uh, particular fabric in here into the rest of the room. I absolutely cannot wait to see what happens in here. But um, at the moment, it is still very much a very bland and boring room, but we need to get it organized because obviously we have Christmas coming up and we have basically everyone here at Christmas, which I am so excited about. You have no idea, like my nephews and my niece, and it's just gonna be so wonderful to have like the whole family here. So I want to have everything organized and set aside so that everyone just has their own space. It's a shame that we don't have the bathroom done in here, but obviously next year phase two will be happening. And because that bathroom is broken, that ensuite, there's no point in us trying to fix it now because we need to take the entire shower out. So we're just gonna wait until next year. So anyway, I am going to start sorting through the rustic decor from the glitzy decor and hopefully make some headway in here to um, organization. It is, I'm actually quite organized with these kinds of things though, so FYI. So this is a very rustic little crate, so I can put that to one side because that's all pretty much done. Well, it's a little bit more organized in here. Once we've decorated the tree downstairs, all of this can go up into the loft until after Christmas. I didn't realize that Ali had made a little makeshift bed here for Lumi. Because you make everything so mucky, don't you? You make everything so mucky. Because you are such a mucky pup. A little mucky pup, pink nose. Oh my gosh, Ali and his manager are laughing downstairs because Ali's just done a whole beginning bit of his vlog with a little bit of bogey on his nose. <laughs> and he's like, I'm not posting the vlog. I'm like, babe, everyone, everyone gets that, like, let it go. He's like, I'm not posting the vlog. Like, Post the vlog, Ali. <laughs> anyway, baubles are organized and in all of their boxes, looking good and good to go away, so that's good. <laughs> Could I say good any more times then? And then the next one that I need to do is this cupboard. It's the cozy cupboard. It's the most important cupboard of my life. It needs a good old organize. So I'm gonna pull some bits and pieces out and file them in new homes and hopefully get a little bit more organization here. now in Ali's office picking the track for the intro. This is the final one. I don't think that's right. No, it's not like festive. Three, two, one. No, it's not festive enough. So, so far it's these two, but I haven't selected any yet, so I'll have a quick... Oh, so you don't think any of those? We'll just have a listen to these two. So this one? I think this sounds a little bit like adventure. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what. That's why I quite like it. Like kids adventure. Well, I, I think more like a, a festive adventure. Portini coming up to join the party. All right. These two. Ready? Ooh. Or to the composer. <laughs> Look at that bully. Look at that bully. This bit here. This is the bit here you'd use. 
Oh, Horty was like closing his eyes at the same time as you. Yes. Need a big massage after a day playing with body moves. Mmm, got the thumbs. See, I really like that one. It makes me it makes me think that like we're about to go on an adventure together. This one is mystical, if that's a word. Okay. So it's like mystery and like okay. maybe like potions almost. So it's a bit more if you were to go through Lennon Palace Light Show, they might play this through like the twinkly fairies in the sky type section. Okay. Yeah. This it makes me think of like the nutcracker. Yeah. It's, it's important this. Yeah, you want people to I want people to feel something. Yes. When they're watching this. I want well, the, I, I'll know when I'm editing it whether I feel it. <laughs> okay. So So do you want me to make the decision? Yeah. It's me charging across the field because I'm poo not sheep. I didn't show you all in my shoes. Ali ended up covered in sheep poo because he was running across the sheep's field with his gimbal to like gimbal the car and he was like absolutely covered in it. That's the price you pay for the, for the Christmas... Footage? Christmas footage. So, I mean this all started just because I fancied one year just doing you an intro. I know, that's what I was telling them. So that how it started when um, we used the footage from when we went to Kaxlautenen. Was it? Yeah, as our intro. Uh, yeah, because I used yeah. the deer and stuff. Then last year, you filmed the morning and used it for the um, intro. And then this year, it was just a no-brainer because honestly, I feel like it's one of those things that I've absolutely loved and I've never really, like, had a proper intro before. I know, like, people have, like, animations and things like that done. And I never really found where I sort of fit into it, especially when... It's like, I feel like Vlogmas is so integral to my channel. And then this just kind of happened and now it's like a thing because this is the third year that we're doing it. I'm so sorry, but we're having a bit of a mare this week and we don't have enough food shopping in. And we were supposed to be able to make risotto this evening, but we've realized that we've got no cheese. And then we were gonna have pizza and chips and we realized that we had no chips. <laughs> and then we were gonna have fish and chips and we realized we had no chips. I would just like to show you what is going down in our very festive, <laughs> for the festive meals. Let's just pretend. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I would go down to the shop and get something, but equally I've got so much to edit for both you and I. Yeah. And that's why I'm having <laughs> chicken <just>, tikka. <laughs> You're not having Best the garlic sauce. So you're not having it. <laughs> Ali, you are not having the garlic pizza. I'm chicken so garlic, sorry. I can't cope with this. So Ali's got last night's chicken tikka masala, gherkins <laughs> between two slices of toast, and he was about to pour the garlic and herb dip. No, I'm I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not okay. This could be the perfect balance you've got. I'm, but also, I, I quietly want to know what it's going to taste like because I feel like that's just going to taste like burp. <gasps> Babe, what? you just redecorated the kitchen. You are such a Neanderthal sometimes. Oh, the toilet. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness. Honestly. This is, just the, this is just the beginning. Why, what else are you gonna put in it? No, 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 like the decorating. Oh, right. I actually can't believe what you're doing. Do you know what would be great in there? Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> That would not be great in there, babe. Oh my gosh. That is so many strong flavors. <laughs> I kind of want to know what it tastes like as well. By the way, our food shop is due on Thursday and that's why I, I, we just didn't put enough on the shopping list this week. We're adjusting to our new Waitrose, <laughs> Waitrose order. What does it taste like? Garlic and chicken tikka masala. <laughs> it's phenomenal. No, it's not. It really is. No, it's not. That's phenomenal. That is really good. You're lying. I can tell you're lying. It's actually really good. No, it's not. It is. I'll finish the whole thing. Okay. Well, anyway, I've got a pizza in the oven, and I say a pizza, but I've got two pizzas because they're both really small. <laughs> so I've got out the Domino's dip. We're living like students today. Well, I feel like I recycled the Sunday. Well, I didn't recycle it. Oh, yeah, we had bubble and squeak. 
So I ate Sunday's lunch on Monday yeah. as well. And I ate Monday's dinner on Tuesday. Yes. Well, well done. It's been a lot of fun. Recycling. Mm -hmm. A lack of waste, which is good. The good thing is, tonight has prompted me to do a Waitrose food shop and I've started stockpiling for Christmas. So I've ordered myself two bottles of Whispering Angel, which, which brings me up to three. <laughs> and then I've definitely just ordered two bottles of Moet as well, because Carrie and I enjoy drinking that. And we've got none left because we finished the Magnum on the first day of Vlogmas. <laughs> I mean, we have other Magnums, but they're like sentimental ones that have like our wedding date on them and things like that. So yeah, placing my order and stocking up on lots of yummy goodness. I've got like a fresh sourdough coming and lots of cheese and goodness. I love doing the food shop now. And I actually forgot last week because Waitrose cutoff point is 6 p.m. And the old place that we got our food from was 10 p.m. So we missed it and I couldn't add any bits on. That's why we've got such a like low food shop. And also we cooked a roast on Sunday, which is not something that we normally do and we cooked so much of our food then. So anyway, I've just topped that up and it's probably my most expensive food shop to date. <laughs> oh yeah. He's working. Are you helping with the edit, are you? You are just so handsome. Look at the views that you've got over the kitchen garden and so magical. It is. You're doing a very good job, Porty. I wonder what your day rate is. <laughs> you are so small. And what you can't see in the office is Lumi sat on her very expensive perch. Look at you, <laughs> queen of the castle. And this is a very exciting delivery that I didn't actually manage to get unboxed today. This is my new notice board. That's absolutely massive. This is to pin all of my Karen Millen collections to so that I can basically see the whole spread of blocks and things like that for each collection so I know what I'm working on, but also so that it looks nice. So this is like a French linen fabric and then it's got really lovely ribboning to it. So I'm really excited to get that open, but unfortunately I didn't get the chance to open it today. Or should I open it now? Let's open it now. Let's just do this before I get to bed because... Are you fitting it in the vlog tomorrow? Oh. <laughs> you are going to put that one up though, aren't you? You're not! Oh babe, that is so ridiculous. The vlog that never was. What are you doing? Mummy, I promise I'm going to bed in a minute. She's pacing around the place. Hinge then, we might have lift off, guys. <laughs> I've been fighting with this. Ten minutes. Got nowhere. Oh, that was an anti-climax, wasn't it, Porty? Hang it up. Hang it up. I managed to get Lummy nestled into bed, but Ali is going to do the honours very quickly because I want to wash my face and go to bed. Porty? You in bed? Yeah, I've got a pet talk. Bo 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 in bed. See? It's 
So what we have here is, it's basically like an upholstered notice board. So I wanted it to look really, really nice. We had these custom made from Etsy and I'm very excited to see them. Dun, 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 the moment of truth. Oh, wow. <gasps> they look so beautiful. So I went for this really lovely sage striped linen with an ivory ribbon and brass little pins to give it that cushioned feel. Little button. Little button. Oh, they look so nice. What are you, what are you doing? Get into bed. Yeah, they're perfect. So, so lovely. I mean, they're not gonna look as lovely as this for very long because they're gonna have things stuck to it. <laughs> but yeah. very, very nice. Just a little bit softer. Something a little bit different that's not like a cork I think, board. I think they'll fit downstairs. Oh yeah, you'll be able to slide them over even if not. Yeah. Between the two. Those are my two no new notice boards for my office. Right, bedtime. Oh.